Okay, recording. Okay, so when I, you know, when there's death, do you see other people? And I think, you know, this, this for me uh, depends on, uh, it's possible. It's possible. In fact, Hawkins did talk about it. Often, um, I mean, he, I think he mentioned it in his, uh, his death video uh, on the Office series. So once you become, I mean, really in truth, there's only love. And uh, I think from what he was saying, he was more or less um, uh, the presence of love, probably, a, you know, a high angel or something where you, become, you lose form, you just love. And um, I think was involved in the transitioning process of people leaving the body. And he said actually that the love will often take on the form of those loved ones uh, to, to, make the, um, to make those transitioning who, are going to, who, who want to see their loved ones uh, to be there for them in form uh, so that their transition is, is as smooth as possible. So I thought that's quite beautiful. Uh, and uh, uh, I think that's one possibility. I mean, for me, there are astral realms. It just depends what realms you're going to and what realms they're in and what's the karmic permission from the universe in terms of meeting what realm you're going to and what realm they're in. Um, so I think most people doing a spiritual work will be going into the, the good realms and hopefully most of their relatives are in the good realms and you, and you, you may get an opportunity to see them. But various factors come into play into what happens on death. I think some people can, can go into astral realms. Um, you know, generally, if you've got to a certain level of consciousness, you'll go to the realm, a realm with a similar vibration. So you may go to an astral realm, which may be heavenly or hellish, depending on your vibration on leaving the body and your, your deeds in this lifetime. Or um, you may go straight off into light. Uh, is quite interesting. I mean, Hawkins was, I, I imagine, I think a Buddhist in a past lifetime. And he, they have the strong belief that on death, I think in where in the Buddhism places he was in, in those uh, reincarnations, uh, that everything goes blank, you know, there, there's the void. And so when he would die, he would go off into void. That was a strong belief. And so the void would be there and then he'd be spat back into his next incarnation. And he was very upset. So the belief systems of what happens after death uh, play a strong, um, a strong, um, have a strong effect on actually the experience, you know, because the beliefs are so powerful. I mean, this, this realm is just the physical realm. I mean, there's the astral realms and your belief that you could have a belief in visiting realms with, with family or it could have a belief in nothing. Um, so there's, there's different uh, places there. 